<laughs> Look at this set. Aww. Looks so cute. Look. Oh, he sent stickers too. Oh, he's know, so nice. It's still going even though it's black, right? What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow, you guys want to play? Yeah. Again. I hit him up. You asked for. Show us again to send it early. Show both. The guy and was like, Hey, I know I wasn't supposed to get this until like two weeks later, but can you send it early, please? It's my wife's birthday. Nice, dude. <laughs> it worked. Let's go. That's why wifey for life. Me for life. <laughs> okay. Let's play. Let's play. There's like a snippet of me talking about how I'm back because I've been gone away for so long. Um, and that's just consistency. When did I last paint? I think I haven't painted since October. It's December. It's the end of December. It's about to be January in like a few days. Uh, so I decided that I will come to the studio and try to get back into painting. I do. I miss it a lot. Um, and I have a lot of unfinished paintings that I would like to hopefully finish before the end of the year. So we're going to get, we're going to try. <laughs> Thank you. 
can hear the rain. Um, I am I am those I am one of those girls who takes videos of the rain and posts it on her Instagram stories, even though everyone's seen rain. So it's like it's just really calming, you know. It's calming. Then take a break. I got. Usually, I like the original flavor. I'm really basic when it comes to chip flavors. I like the original flavor in almost all chips. Yeah, and then I like dipping it in stuff to make it taste better. But my husband, was, I told him, can you give me sun chips? And he said they didn't have the original, so he's like, I got this, it's better than nothing. I'm like, okay, maybe. Um, then I had some guac, dipped it in guac, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I also have, my dad went to the, um, to an Asian grocery store nearby the other day and he picked up some fruits. Um, I know this guy looks really weird, but in the Philippines we call this rambutan. Please don't hate me. My, uh, Filipino accent is really bad. Obviously very Americanized. Um, but this is rambutan. It's kind of like lychee or lychee, however you say it. Um, same family, I think. I'm pretty sure because the fruit looks almost the same. Little, this one's a little bit more. Yeah, a really nice red one. These all need to be eaten. Um, yeah, it's got these little spikes almost coming out of it, but they're soft. Like, it's not spiny. It doesn't hurt. It's not like a cactus or anything. It just has like these little, I don't know what these are, fronds? <laughs> Is that right? I think that's a, a C thing. Anyways, um, and like Asian dads, um, not to stereotype or generalize or anything, but most Asian dads, their love language is buying fruits for those that they love. And so he bought me a big, big bag of these. Um, I only brought a little bit. But here we'll open it. See if I can open it. Um, okay. So is this weird? I don't know. If you don't like looking at fruit being opened, you can skip ahead, but like so this is why it's like a lychee. I don't know if you've ever you've probably only had lychee flavored things. <laughs> but if you've seen like a fresh lychee, it's usually like red in a little ball. And it's like smoothish. I mean, it has a rough texture on the outside, but it's not like this. It's not like spiny. Um, but when you open it, it looks like this. So this is the fruit. So good. Other fruit that he got, which is honestly one of my absolute favorite fruits in the Philippines, is this. This is mangosteen. Um, it's a little round. These are actually like quite small um, in terms of mango scene like in the Philippines they get huge they get really really big and delicious I can't think of a fruit that you would have here in America that's similar that tastes the same I really can't give you something similar for you to think of because it's just so it's different okay like and it's so good so I just squeezed it, and you open it, and it looks like this on the inside. So the skin is really, really thick, and then you have these little, like, it's kind of like an orange, but not because it's not citrusy, so it doesn't have that, like, citrus texture to it. So good. Oh, so good. I'm so happy. I have not... I think this is my first time seeing these in San Diego, at least. Um, I'm pretty sure we got these from... imported from Mexico. Yes, product of Mexico. And I think... I think my dad got like two bags, but I think he spent like $35 on fruit. My mom was not happy. But it's fruit of our homeland, okay? It makes us feel good on the inside that we're still getting a little taste of home even if it's not as yummy it's it's just 
fruit in the Philippines just hits so different. I swear, like even mango, like we can get mango here in, in America, like no problem, we can get mango, but mango in the Philippines is just so good, so different. Bananas, dude, bananas here in America. I don't like bananas in America, <laughs> okay? They're really big, right? And they're like a weird texture and whatever, but the flavor is like, so so in the Philippines our bananas are small probably like half the size of a regular you know banana here in America but the flavor and it's so sweet it's just so, so good fruits in the Philippines if I could live off of fruits only fruits I would be so happy
this is currently where I'm at with this one. She's still a little wet, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she's turning out. I'm kind of feeling like she's done. I don't know what else to add, and I feel like that's a good stopping point. Um, I feel like if I add any more, it might get a little too too much, too chaotic. I kind of like how the background, I wanted to add like a little bit of abstract like shapes and stuff in the back, but I'm thinking maybe it doesn't need it. So that's my snack, but yeah, she's just looking cute. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep on it and see how I feel when she's dry. We are back. Hold on. I'm back in the studio. Um, I went home and I finished doing this. Uh, it was very painful. I really hope that I don't have to redo this uh, screen print stencil. But here she is. This part, the little leaves, very difficult, very annoying. Lots of little tiny things that I had to pick out individually with my little like pointy tool pen. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to attach this to my screen printing frame thing um, and start screen printing this little, little lady. I got the tote bags that I wanted to sell. I got those yesterday, so hopefully I will be able to fine tune those this weekend and then hopefully maybe I have the listing up in a couple days. I want to say by the end of next week but like realistically how good am I with that? I mean we're gonna do our best. I don't know what hand signals I'm doing here but let's go to work. <laughs>
Uh, I don't know. Wow, thanks. You're so helpful. What you got in there? Do you use a selling these? Paintings. Two for one. Did you make it? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it but the fridge is just running she is going somewhere she's making a lot of noise so um this is a really good test to see if my new mic can cancel out that noise so this is me testing the noise cancellation hello and welcome to the end of the video if you've made it this far you are so cool <laughs> Uh, there was a lot of painting, which I'm super proud of. Um, that was like the most consistently I've painted in a while. And I even started some screen printing, which was cool, which is cool. I'm still kind of uh, messing around with it, but the two designs that I have up that I was showcasing in the video that you kind of saw some sneak peeks of, they are for sale. Uh, very limited stock. It's on my website, ceciliajoy.com. If you would like to um, have some cool reusable bags. So yeah, if you want to look super cute, uh, carrying around your books, carrying around your groceries, carrying around whatever you want. Uh, yeah, those two designs will be up on my website as long as all of my stickers. Most of my stickers are going on sale because I'm trying to get rid of all the stock that I have. And also some prints. Those are, most of them are also on sale, I believe. I'm in the process of moving right now. Um, more on that in the next video. But uh, yeah, so it would really help me out if you wanna get some stickers. A bunch of mixed media paintings will be for sale on my website as well. And if you're seeing this video right when it comes out, cool, the website will still be open, however, I will be closing my shop um, probably maybe like Feb, February 10, February 10, 12, middle of February because we're moving February 18, we're out of here and I don't, I won't be able to focus on the website anymore. So if you want to stay connected and see what I get up to, follow along in my creative journey, you can join me on my Patreon, which I will leave the link in the description. Is it down here? Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, leave me a like. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow and it helps me grow as a creative content creator. It helps me grow on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!